What's up? It's the Sunday update. So this is being recorded on my camera roll. I'm going to read the summarized Sunday update for Goddamn. You can find the whole blog post at ericleo.org on the new release blog or in last week's Sunday update. This should be pretty short. I'll give you a little music slash work slash school update and then I'm done. I will not be reading the future blog post because the song is a surprise. It's Sunday, May 7th, 2023, and this is the Sunday Update. Hi, I'm Eric Leo Wanaway, the sociologist, philosopher, and hip-hop artist with Schizoaffective Disorder. I release a new rap song every week. May 2023's first release is called God Damn. God Damn is a trap, hip-hop inspired song about the rap game, specifically Tyga's music, which I give reference to. I also give a nod to Will I Am and Migos, among others. When I wrote this, Take Off was still alive. I I had it produced when Takeoff was still alive. I think this is the first song I talk about subjects relating to global warming. I kind of made a deal with myself if I made bangers, I would talk about global warming. The song was recorded, mixed, mastered, and... Yeah, the, the song was recorded, mixed, and mastered by Sam Peters at La Luna Recordings and Sound in Kalamazoo, Michigan, and the beat is by Keanu. I made an April 2023 Cosmic Love post on my Tumblr blog. This post confirms the semantics and theme of the sun, which came full circle with media built by Emma Watson and Haley Steinfeld. Okay, I got the feet. This is the that was the Sunday update. This is the like school and work update. I got the female vocal features. I got the female vocal feature um, from Joe Lee back yesterday for the song "You." It sounds amazing. I can't wait to get the song produced at La Luna in July. I recorded those two songs as practice as practice tracks. For rap royalty, for the rap royalty EP, I did that yesterday, and this is uh, building off last uh, week's Sunday update. I have all the featured tracks recorded for rap royalty. I the only thing I might record and track are more ad libs. Practice tracks are just record are just. Practice tracks are just rough recordings to see how the song is going to sound, build structure, and learn the lyrics. I finally bought the meme rap song. Now that I have secured the ex exclusive, the song will be called Go Kitty and is from and will be produced by Ethan Mitchell Beats. Hope I said that right. I got my computer fixed Monday. It went off without a hitch, which I'm very happy for. I have yet to find a book agent or a show booking agent. I never sent last week's book proposal. I still have to do it. I haven't heard back from any of the boutique music agencies I messaged. What I've learned is that it basically doesn't matter if you have materials or a product to sell. Prospects in in the in the business are looking to sell to customers and just like with record labels which sign audiences and not artists if you don't have a fan base they're not willing to give you the time of day let alone work with you i have an appointment with alex from ryani beats this week to sign up with his inner, inner circle and get access to business services beats production and promotion basically i'm doing it because he's um offering to do a uh, guaranteed return and advertise um, my music. It's gonna take my whole budget, but I'm gonna sign up for it. I plan on writing a lot of songs over Ryani Beats, which has which his whole catalog comes with the deal. I plan on writing some songs for a country singer. I'm gonna try my hand at uh, like kind of country uh, rap, country hip hop. I've been using Scully and Scholarship Owl to look for scholarships. That's it. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being a part of my family. I love you very much. And until next time, you take care, all right? Bye.